Hi, and welcome to PBS Media Shift's Digital Media Brief, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids. I'm Mark Glazer, executive editor of PBS Media Shift, with guests Janine Poggi from AdAge, Max Willens from International Business Times, Jennifer Jolly of USA Today, and Alex Leo from Yahoo. The Super Streaming Bowl, this year's big football game will be streamed online free with NBC offering up to 10 plus hours to promote its TV Everywhere initiative. Jennifer, how can people watch the game online and on their smartphones this year? You can go to the NBC Sports Live Extra page on your laptop or the app on your mobile devices, specifically your tablets. You can stream live from noon, starting at noon on Sunday, all the way through to the end of the blacklist. Uh, also, NBC Sports Digital's live streaming uh, app as well, but the big catch is if you're watching on a smartphone, you have to have Verizon, otherwise you might have to figure out a workaround. Uh, we're, we're still trying to figure out whether you can uh, connect to Wi-Fi to watch it. It looks like they might have a way to block it, but the NFL has an exclusive with Verizon, so stick to your tablet or your laptop for now. And Janine, why did uh, why did NBC have problems selling out the Super Bowl ads? They just sold them out now. NBC just sold out just a few days before the game. They made the announcement, and it certainly was a long road for them. It's really indicative of the overall TV ad marketplace, which has just been slower to move with more advertisers looking to make buys, especially a big buy, $4.5 million for a 30-second spot closer, closer to need and also looking to shift dollars out of TV and into other digital platforms, finding different ways to target audiences that perhaps they're not reaching on TV or getting a little bit more granular in the way they're targeting viewers. So it's really a changing mindset for, for advertisers. And you know, certainly there was no question the Super Bowl was going to sell out, and NBC did that and achieved record prices. But it was an interesting, interesting time and a, certainly a long road for them. And Max, tell us about um, the NFL made a deal with YouTube recently. Why did they kind of give in and, and make the deal with YouTube? Well, I wouldn't frame it as them giving in. I would frame it as them finally getting exactly what they wanted. Um, the NFL has been pretty uh, cautious about the deals that it makes on social media because it wants to retain control of where product, its product goes online and also just to increase its leverage with uh, in selling video advertising. Uh, but with the deal with YouTube, it's getting exactly what it wants. Uh, all the clips that it uploads are, cannot be embedded elsewhere. Uh, it's getting paid a pretty hefty sum from YouTube as a licensing fee and they're splitting the money uh, that comes from ad revenue 50-50. And, um, really, you know, when a bargaining partner offers you exactly what you want, you just kind of have to say yes, don't you? Makes sense. And Alex, what do you think about the social media war for the Super Bowl um, online between Facebook and, and Twitter? Where will you be watching the action in well, social? Well, this is the real Super Bowl. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about when it comes to the, the men with large outfits on and big muscles. Um, I think that this will be exciting. I'm definitely going to be on both platforms looking out for who's winning out and where influencers are and what people are saying on each platform and if there's differentiation. I think that the money will tell the story though, you know, like let's see who comes out on top of the cash. Thanks for tuning in to our digital media brief from PBS Media Ship. Thanks to our sponsor, Next Space and Next Kids, co-working childcare in one place. Learn more at nextspace.us slash nextkids. Catch you next week.